Hey, 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 you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Ebony. I am the CEO of Ebony's Mobile Notary, the founder of 757 Notary Sisters. And welcome back, y'all. Welcome back for another week where we are talking about what your books look like. Like, let me tell y'all something. This money here, it came fast and I did not know what to do with it did not know what to do with it as far as handling my money, commingling funds, um, robbing Peter to pay Paul, paying everything, not paying taxes. You know, when, when ta well, it wasn't even that I wasn't paying them. I wasn't taking it out the way I am now. I wasn't saving because um, I'm going to take it that most of us up here are either mobile notaries or either small business owners, right? And um, I wasn't taking out that percentage for my taxes. I was depositing all the money and I was like, oh, I'm going to save, I'm going to save. And it didn't happen. So then when tax time came around, I was in for a rude awakening. So at that point, I was like, that will never, never happen again. Um, I'm not one of the ones that do like the turbo tax thing. I, I don't know about all of that um yeah i had to get my finances in order so came across miss deidre moon um who is a tax accountant out here in virginia beach and she broke it all the way down for me she like this is what you need this is what i've been doing this is my expertise you know i'm helping people that have small businesses manage their money because it does come quickly and you have to be strategic. You have to be careful with it. Um, I was going to bring her right on, but it looks like she hopped off of my backstage. Y'all, let me just shoot her a message and see where she went and see if she's going to come back. Uh, you were in the right place. But how are you guys handling your finances? Are you guys saving? Do you have multiple accounts? Anybody can put it in the, anybody, let's see, let's see. Hey, hey, everybody. Hey, hey, everybody. I just shot her a message just to see where did she disappear to. Hey, hey, make sure y'all click like and subscribe and share this. Please do share it because I feel like everybody needs to hear and know what is going on and knowing just how to keep a hold of your finances because Ooh, baby. So now I have several bank accounts, y'all, several bank accounts. And when I do my owner's withdrawal, y'all know I pay myself only once a month. Um, I am working on getting on a payroll system in which I'm pretty sure Miss Deidre will go into that, but I'm not on one yet. And I just pay myself once a month and I put money aside for taxes. I put money aside for everywhere that i need to put money aside to and i don't spend my money the way i was spending it when i had a w-2 job either that is definitely something that i don't do you know before it was all right if i spend this hundred dollars i'm gonna make another hundred dollars because i'm gonna work an overtime shift because i knew if i went to work i was going to get paid so i have now i got a separate account for my taxes that's first of all I got a savings account. I got an expense account. I think I have 11 bank accounts. Like when we be on these lives in the Facebook group and everybody be like, Ebony, go to the bank. And I'd be like, it's a whole ordeal at the bank. It's a whole ordeal at the bank because this amount needs to go in this right here. And I've got to have everything in order on from my spreadsheet on how much money I brought in. I got to keep it all on track strategically because that money also got to run me through the rest of the month. Like when I take out that owner's withdrawal, what's mine, it got to last. And I call a spade a spade. What's today? The 29th? Your girl rolling with like a hundred bucks. Like, all right, this is what we got for the weekend. This is it. Until I go to the bank, do my monthly owner's withdrawal, pay my bills, pay myself, do what I got to do. And then I start the month off with more money but i'm very very i don't want to call it selfish or stingy but i'm thinking clearer 
versus the way I was thinking prior to this journey. And when that money was coming, I was like, oh, I want a new bag. I want this. I want that. Yeah, I can't live like that. So I am going to let Miss Deidre Moon have at it. She is going to spill some gems. She's going to let us know the up and up on how we can make our money make sense as business owners, right? Because I'm not doing anything but scaling. So those 11 bank accounts, they looking real plentiful. And I'm just like, oh, maybe I can't be spending it recklessly. So here we go, you guys. Hey, hey. Hey, how are you? I am doing wonderful. Thanks for asking. And how are you? I'm doing great. Living the dream. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's all I can do is live the dream. Thank you for being here. Thank you for coming in, just sharing your knowledge and helping us make our money make sense. Because the things that we talked about, it resonated with me like on fire and i was just like wait slow down let's regroup <laughs> i love that thank you for having me you know this topic is very important and very sensitive so i appreciate the opportunity to share anytime well i'm gonna let you take over you got it all right well hey y'all whether you are here live or catching us on the replay Hello, 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 hello. My name is Deidre Moon, and you will get to know me as your auntie accountant. Now, the reason why I want you to remember that is that I'm your auntie accountant, and I'm here to help you make sure Uncle Sam stays off your back. Okay? Your auntie got you. All right, you guys. So I am an accountant and I am located in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Um, one thing I want to share with you guys is that I did experience an illness back in 2020 and I'm still recovering from it slightly. So if my voice sounds just a little bit off to you guys, don't worry about that. We are right. We getting better. We are good to go. Okay. Um, in my ear, it kind of sounds like I've been drinking wine, and I promise you, I have not. It's just that it's left over from the illness. It wasn't COVID, but it happened right when COVID started. All right. All right. Well, we can hear you clear. You is doing great. Keep it going. Okay. So, you guys, I want to talk a little bit about whether you are a business owner or you are a W-2 wage earner. Um, there are just some things that we have to get in order. One of them being paying our taxes on time. Now, as I mentioned, I'm your auntie accountant and nobody really bangs with or really enjoys dealing with Uncle Sam. I get it. I get it, y'all. I'm no different than you. But my role is to help make sure you are taking the proper steps to satisfy your tax liabilities and obligations timely to avoid fees and interest and penalties. We all know that we have to pay our taxes so we might as well do it such that it is as least painful as possible. Now, I want to talk for a moment specifically to my small business owners. I'm going to talk to the wage earners as well, but specifically the small business owners first. And I'm kind of starting here because I know that with the pandemic and even before the pandemic, many of us um, have that entrepreneurial spirit. You know, we want to be business owners. We want to um, go out there and, and make something out of nothing. And I applaud us all for doing that. If you have a desire, a love, a passion, and you can turn that into income earning, by all means, do it. However, 
we have to do it the right way, okay? All right, so first and foremost, I'm trying to get this camera straight, y'all. Pardon me on that one. Okay, here we go. All right. All right, first and foremost, I want to know by show of hands, and I know I can't see y'all, but in your living room, raise your hand. Okay, just raise your hand. Um, how many of you are entrepreneurs? Meaning you are working, earning income for yourself whether it is as a notary, a signing agent, a boutique owner, um, no matter what it is, are you earning income for yourself? Okay, that makes you an entrepreneur. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm cabbage patching. Okay, that's kind of old school, right? All right, all right, all right. Um, what is what they doing now? The floss? Is that what they doing? The flossing? Okay, whichever one. We are applauding you for being an entrepreneur. Okay, bet. But are you setting money aside to pay your taxes? Your taxes could be anywhere up to 15.3%. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's break this down. Let's look at $100. Now, of course, if you were working for someone else, when they paid you that $100, it wouldn't be 100 right? Because they would have withheld taxes. They do it for you. Well, when you work for yourself, who's holding the taxes? According to Uncle Sam, you better be doing it. Mm-hmm. Because he wants his money on time. Okay, so $100 you earned. You did a signing. I don't care if you sell Mary Kay. You sell five lip glosses. I don't care if you do child care. You got kids coming in with the parents go to work. Whatever it is, you earned $100. You receive $100. Nobody is holding any taxes on your behalf. So you have to be responsible for doing that. And it's important that you not only set some money to the side for taxes, but that you pay it timely. Okay, so we are all used to filing the 1040 on or about April 15th, right? We all have done that a hundred times. Well, when you are self-employed, earning your own money and possibly setting tax money to the side, you may be required to pay that quarterly. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. See, Uncle Sam, he wants his money every quarter. He really does not want it once a year. We think once a year because we're used to W-2s, but when you're self-employed, he wants it quarterly. That means on April 15th, you should be paying taxes withheld for the first quarter of the year and so forth. So it's really important if you're earning income for yourself as a self-employed individual that you are holding taxes and remitting taxes on time. All right, y'all hearing it, holding and remitting it on okay. time. Okay. Holding it and remitting it on time. So, like, what do we do? Like, we, we don't know nothing about, I mean, I know how to hold it. Okay, so, yes, holding is only half of the story. So, I always encourage everyone, especially my small business owners, to work with a professional. Now, certainly, I'm a professional, and I would love to help everybody. However, if you choose not to work with a professional, you can go to the IRS website and make your quarterly payments. You can calculate it and make that payment on the IRS website. Now, here's the thing about the IRS. It is so interesting to me because our tax system is one that says you need to pay your taxes. Okay, we get it. But then the second half says, but you need to figure out how much you owe us. Really? I have to figure out what I owe you and then pay you? And then if I get it wrong, I get a fine? 
Yep, that's how it works. So when you hold your taxes, you're going to remit them using the federal tax payment system, which you can find on the IRS website. Now, certainly, I don't expect everyone to be able to figure all of this out. So again, that's why I encourage you to work with a trusted professional. Uh oh, you're on mute, Ebony. Yep, there we go. I had to grab okay. my mouse. Okay, okay. So, and when you say working with a with a professional, do you work with your clients just say once a quarter? How does that? that work they just come once a quarter with their what profit and loss statement earnings okay you got me over here bankhead bouncing uh-oh you better <laughs> get it <laughs> you said profit and loss statement oh hey oh. i know about it i know oh. about it talk to me talk to me okay. i know about it <laughs> as an accountant those type of words just touch my heart okay so a professional like myself or someone else might want to start you with bookkeeping services. So what? why that's important is that every day, all of you all are out here grinding, right? You hustling, sun up to sundown. Ebony, I watched your video and you were up at 5 a.m. By 6 a.m., you was ready to be out the door to a signing. Every I'm like, day. every day. I, I'm, I got to be honest. I don't be up at six o'clock. I don't be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but that means you are out there earning income as early as 6 a.m. Now, in addition to earning the income, you do have some expenses. There's gas. There's car maintenance. You may have had to stop at Office Max to buy some supplies. You may have had to mail something off to another client you have expenses throughout the day. So bookkeeping is what helps make it make sense. Your bookkeeping system, which I do bookkeeping, or you can find another trusted professional. With your bookkeeping system, we're going to keep up with those daily income and expenses. And then at the end of the month, we prepare a profit and loss statement. Now, Hopefully, you will work with someone who will explain your profit and loss statement to you, as well as help you be strategic on how to influence the profit and loss statement. So what I mean by that is, let's say we have your profit and st loss statement, January, February, and March, quarter one. Okay, well, when we look at it on a quarterly basis, you and I need to talk about how do we improve it next quarter, okay? So we look at the expenses. Where are our largest expenses? And do we need to make adjustments? We set goals so that we can reach the next level for the next quarter. So your bookkeeper should be talking to you about your P&L numbers on a monthly and quarterly basis. Please, y'all. I, I want y'all to work with somebody. Hopefully you like me and decide to work with me. But if you don't, whoever you work with, you guys, they should be talking to you at minimum monthly, preferably a couple times a month, but at minimum monthly. Do not get somebody who only talks to you quarterly or only talks to you at tax time. That ain't it. All right. All right. All right. Good. You guys, I put your link in the chat. I also put a lot of your links in the description of this video, you guys. So you guys will be able to contact her if you do have any questions. But if anybody got any questions, y'all put them in the chat, put it in the chat. One thing that for the people who are notaries, what we have is something called notary gadget or either notary assist. And there are platforms for us to enter in all of our information we can answer in our mileage we can answer in how much we got paid 
um, all of our business expenses. It's a beautiful platform. Both of them are. They're beautiful. And then at tax time, you know, they even have a little button where you can go print profit and loss statement. And then that's what you can take in to whoever you're working with. The only downside to it is like what I was explaining to you that I was, I'm getting so much business. I have such a hard time keeping up with my notary gadget. Like I'm forever. I got invoices now. Like I'm going to work tonight, 11 to seven um, as a nurse. And I'm like, yo, I got to do my, I got to one, I got to do about 27 invoices. Yeah. And then two, I got to put those invoices into my notary gadget. Right. And it's just, it's a lot. It's and a I lot. want people to understand like, Making the money is so much fun, but knowing what to do with the money is a very, very serious thing that you have to look at. Like it's blown me away. Even when I go in there and I look at my notary gadget, because sometimes it's just scary at the number that's in there and the results that I have to show. I'm like, yo, I spent money recklessly. Like all the mistakes that I made. And that's why I do these lives and bring people in because don't be like me. Be better than me, please. Yeah, please. you really hit the nail on the head. You know, making the money is great. I mean, it feels good to look in your bank account and you have commas. That feels great. But you have to keep up with this stuff and manage it because Uncle Sam do not play. He, hmm. he will take whatever he can with no regard to you your mama, your kids, he don't care. He just want his money. So right. but you are doing yourself a disservice if you're not keeping up with it on a regular basis. Yeah, yeah. And that's something I really had to structure myself like, okay, Ebony, you cannot do the same things that you was doing before. And right. I've even, and it even opened up my eyes to cut expenses. You know, I just don't spend the way I was spending. It was right. crazy the way I was spending, but it's definitely so eye opening. And Let's see, we want to get. I'm sorry. You know what? It it is eye opening, and of course, when you know better, you have to do better. But yeah. one of the biggest things is very often we don't know. We're bringing the money in, we're spending it, but we are not making it make sense. Right. And what you're well, me, of course, I help you make it make sense. And if you're trying to do it on your own, it's difficult. I mean, you're out grinding as a nurse. Then you're grinding as a notary. You do not have the time or desire to sit behind the desk and then grind these numbers. You yeah. just don't. That's just yeah. the reality of it. So that's why it's so important to hire a trusted professional. And I promise you, what you spend on bookkeeping per month, number one, it's tax deductible. So it's a complete write-off. And mm -hmm. then number two, the value that you receive will be mind-blowing. Right. Yep. Yep. All right. Let's see. What can we make sure we are doing to be prepared when we have our first appointment with the professional? So what, what would they bring to you? All right. That's a great question. Okay. First off is your income. Where do you get money from? And I do mean all sources, your um, self-employment, meaning notary service, haircut, uh, doing weave, doing braids, whatever you do to earn money, you want to bring that to your appointment. Mm -hmm. Whether it's your last two pay stubs from your job, bring whatever your sources of income might be. Now, I know right now a lot of people use Square. Mm -hmm. um, they use PayPal. They use, you know, a Venmo. They mm -hmm. use a variety of sources to collect the money. So you want to bring that report to your appointment with the professional. Now, in addition to the income side, you want to bring your expenses as well. Now, at bare minimum, bare minimum, you guys, put that stuff in a spreadsheet. Now, I will accept, let's say, for instance, you haven't been keeping up with anything but your receipts. Okay, you have done that much. And trust me, people bring me bags of receipts. 
That would be me. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm going to accept it and then I'm going to go through it for you. So I will do that for you, but that is the bare minimum that you should do. So keep up with your income within Square or your W-2 or pay stub, and then keep up with your receipts as your expenses. If you can put those receipts in a spreadsheet, mwah, even better. But if not, at least have your receipts. And I want to make a point about this. Your receipts are so important because if you were to ever get audited and Anybody can be audited. Me, you, my mama, your mama, anybody can get audited, right? So if the IRS were to audit you, they would ask to see the receipts. Now, where people get in trouble is they think their bank statement is enough. Not for Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam wants to see those receipts. Mm. Okay, so keep up with your income and your receipts. Put your expenses on a spreadsheet if you can. If you can't, bring me the bag and I'll sort through it. <laughs> long as you'll sort through it. Long as you will sort through it. Oh, I will. Oh, man. Okay, okay. So this is good. This is good. Miss Sybil, Notary Gadget is free for the first 15 signings. And then after that is $9.95 a month. If you inbox me, I will send you my link for you to sign up if you need to sign up. And so, $9.95 a month is tax deductible. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. And that's yep. where... Yeah, and I'm telling you, it's golden for us notaries. Like that thing that that whoever I know Sue Hope is the one over notary assist. It's a fantastic tool for us notaries. And I know that a lot of people say, well, when you want to step your game up, you want to start using Vim books and QuickBooks. I don't want to step my game up yet. I, I like my little red and green blocks. I know exactly <laughs> what to put in it. <laughs> as long as you're using something, I applaud you. Now, I am a QuickBooks expert, so if that's something that, um, you know, if you were to come on board with me, I would manage your QuickBooks for you. Mm. So, just so you know, I do work a lot with QuickBooks. Okay, so your client doesn't have to go in there and mess with it, because I hear QuickBooks is a lot. Yeah, you know, it's so interesting because people think QuickBooks is easy to navigate, and for real, for real, y'all, it's not, it ain't, this ain't that, as they say. Um, so, yeah, I do manage it for you. The only thing my clients have to do in QuickBooks is actually take a picture of their receipts and it uploads for me. So, okay. for example, let's say, for instance, you go do a signing and you stop and have lunch with one of your notary sisters okay you go across the water y'all have lunch because y'all need to um chit chat about what she's doing that helps her business and you want to talk about some new software so y'all meet at panera across the water and you buy your panera number one so before you leave you're gonna write on the receipt lunch with notary sister and snap a picture on your phone that uploads to me so then when i open my account later that day i can say oh okay ebony you was at panera and williamsburg today okay okay well i see your receipt it was with your notary sister perfect tax deduction mm, okay okay oh man that, that that that's good that's good because yeah i can yeah, I can tell you the number of meals I've had with my notary sisters and ain't thought nothing of it. And then mm -hmm. I'm looking dumb in the face like, like why? What? What? Yeah, why? <laughs> All right. So someone says, so should we hold back 15% for each invoice for taxes? Okay, so that's a good question. And the short answer is yes. That's the short answer. And it's actually 15.3%. Okay, that's the short answer. But the longer answer 
it involves how your business is structured. And I'm glad you asked this question, Miss Wright. So I know we probably all have social media. And on social media, somebody will post, I got my LLC. Woohoo, I got my LLC. Okay, that's great. That is great because there are some protection that comes with the LLC. That's great. But a LLC for tax purposes is what's called a disregarded entity. Now, that's a big word. It doesn't really mean much to you when you hear it. But what it means is all of your business income runs through your personal tax return. So you and the business are the same for tax purposes. Mm -hmm. Now, if you change your business structure from just an LLC to an S-Core, S-Core means now your business is taxed separate from your personal. So back to Ms. Wright's question. The bare minimum easy answer is yes, you need to hold 15.3% from each signing to cover taxes if you are just an LLC. If you have a different structure, the answer will be different. Mm, okay. Okay. Good, good, good. Now, this one says, as a small business owner, four to six, when, how soon should I get with you, baby? I promise you, I should have done it from day one. Yeah, I did not have a signing. Why did yesterday. I wait for day? Late. <laughs> the answer is yesterday, okay? So, yeah, you know, it's really important. And listen, y'all, listen, this is your auntie talking, okay? I get it. When you are in business, there are a lot of expenses. You have to pay for lots of stuff. And sometimes when you're new, four to six months in, you might be thinking, I mean, I'm new. I don't need an accountant. I'm new. I'm not going to pay that money for an accountant. Let me tell you, you need it as early as possible in your business. Because again, I can help you with strategies that's going to save you from Uncle Sam. So I encourage anybody to talk to your professional of choice. Hopefully that's me. <laughs> you better get it. <laughs> um, but yeah, just talk to a professional, let them give you a quote earlier rather than later, because I promise y'all, I'm going to tell y'all a little story. I have a client that I'm working with right now. He has been in business since 2019. So not that long, but when he started his business, of course, he had no idea how he would do. He didn't know. He just, you know, went out there on a dream. Listen, for 20, he owes $9,000 in income taxes. Yeah. And in 21, he owes $20,000 in income taxes. Do you hear me? I promise you, I was on the phone with him today and he was about in tears. Yeah. He was like, how am I supposed to pay this? Why do I owe this? And I'm like, you made money self-employed and you didn't do anything to cover your taxes. Yeah. Now, really, I know what I'm doing and I'm going to get them on a payment plan of about $300 a month. But still, this right. is supposed to show we should have been talking way back when, not after he's been in business a couple of years because now this debt is hanging over his head. And yeah. then to take it one step further, he's now trying to buy a home. Oh, man. Right. So now we got to try to make magic happen so he can get in a home when two years ago he thought, Oh, I don't need to talk to no accountant. I'm yep. not gonna invest in no accountant. Yeah, that that was me. That was me. That that's yep. me all yep. day. Yep, learning the hard way, not yep. thinking. 
And then even with the, and I was like, oh, okay, well for 2022, it's going to be a slowdown. We're not going to get any business. Well, man, I didn't slow down. So <laughs> I'm like, no. And you know, but it's like a love hate, like, yes, thank yeah. you. I'm, I am making money. I'm still able to make a flow, but you definitely got to change the way you move. You do. You really do. And you know, it can happen so quickly, y'all. I mean, think about it. Ebony, you said today is July 29th. Over half of the year is already gone? Yeah. Believe it or not, I am already in prep mode for tax season. Yeah, you got to be. I'm getting my software in place, getting my policies and procedures updated, getting my documents ready. It will be here around the corner. And so you don't want to get caught slipping. Yep. Because yep. it happens fast. Yep. Somebody said they're not in Virginia. Do you help people out of the state? I do. I do. I spend all, I spend all day um, on my business. Okay, so don't do this, y'all. Don't do this. Do not work almost 24-7. Don't do that, okay? I do it, but don't y'all do it, okay? So to answer the question, yes, I'm available to anybody in the country, no matter what state you're in, no matter what time zone, I got you covered. Okay, okay. All right, well, you know what? Oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. Ebony, let me show y'all my shirt. This It's funny that I wore this shirt today. I didn't even realize it. And my shirt says, you're making money great. But are you recording it properly? Oh man, <laughs> that that's a that's golden. You making money, great, great. But are you recording it properly? Hmm. Yeah. That's what we all need to be asking <laughs> ourselves. We all need to be asking ourselves. Well, because I, thank not, you. If you're not asking yourself and answering it properly you know who gonna ask you hmm because when he come like i said y'all see that thing that just came out about shakira hmm and y'all know something he is petty he real petty he don't care how much it is what you did or didn't do he don't care because I'm gonna get it when you think about it our tax dollars run our country yeah. I mean, that's what it is. Our roads, our schools, our law enforcement, our government, our tax dollars run this country. So Uncle Sam's job is to get the money from you and you and you to run the country. Yep. Yep. And that's what it is, y'all. That is what it is. But I thank you so very much for being here um you left us with hopefully everyone something to think about something to you know changing your business even if you just getting started and you don't have one signing you better get your 15.3 percent out of that one sign and take it off the top if you right. had 10 signings if you need to go back and ask questions y'all get go google a tax professional near you or either, like I say, all Deidre's um, information is in the description bar. It's in the Facebook group. It's everywhere, you guys. Talk to somebody. At least do that. Do not end up behind and owing taxes. That's the last thing that we, we already paying enough expenses. That's the last thing that we need to be doing. And like I told you, I'm taking out my money. I takes it out. It goes into a separate account. I got several bank accounts. And I just was like, okay, I don't need a debit card to this. And when I go to the bank, um, like I say, it's a whole ordeal because I got to make sure what did I bring in for the month? What's going into what account? It's going into this account. I need this much in cash. It's a whole ordeal for me. And I got to do it that way for right now, but it's going to change. That's definitely, but I was just doing way too much, y'all. I was spending just swiping, swiping, swiping. I'm going here. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Oh, I made general notary money. It was cash. I'm just going to take it. Here's a 20. There's a 20. No, we. I had to change the way I was spending money, y'all. Let me tell y'all a funny story. Okay. So we have time, Anthony? Yes. Okay. Yep, we good on time. Okay, so... 
now when you hire a professional well let's just say me let's talk mm -hmm. about me okay all right now when you hire me be prepared that i'm going to be all up in your business okay mm -hmm. because i have to be to help uncle sam stay off your back so let me tell y'all a funny story i have this client and it's a male client and they're actually partners okay they jointly own this business so i'm looking through their account and i see a transaction a couple of times you know back to back reg rather regularly and the account was called freaky deaky oh oh okay now their business is in home construction. They do like remodeling type, type stuff. So I'm like, hmm, freaky deaky. That's unusual. So they come into my office. They're sitting across my desk. And I've told them in advance, hey, I look at your transactions, okay? That's what you pay me for. So they're sitting there and I said, so tell me about freaky deaky and their faces went right and i'm just in there straight face i'm like mm -hmm. yeah so tell me about freaky deaky well come to find out freaky deaky is an adult entertainer that they enjoy spending time with and a business expense so I said, can you explain to me how Freaky Deaky applies to home remodeling? Of course they could not. And right. <laughs> after much conversation, what we found out is what we were paying them from the business, they were on payroll, they were being broke at the end of the month. So when they wanted to enjoy Freaky Deaky, they were swiping the business card. Mm. I'm like, okay, so you see how uncomfortable this is talking to me? You want to talk to your Uncle Sam about it? So what we ended up doing was we had enough to increase their pay. We gave them a raise so that they could have money in their personal account for Freaky Dicky. Right. Right. There we go. And that that, so, that be the thing. You got to know how to. Woo. Yeah, it'd be yeah, a whole bunch. So, you got to know how to spend it. That is a true story, but it just goes to show you that as your accountant, I do work with you to make sure you're making good choices with your business funding. And if something is awry, we try to find a solution that you can live with. So I didn't tell them to stop enjoying Freaky Deaky. Right. right. The, answer, the answer was to give them a raise so they have more money in their personal account for Freaky Deaky. Right, right. Makes sense, <laughs> right? Makes sense. You ain't got to get rid of them. You just got to make sure we manage it right. Correct. All right. All right. Well, I do. I thank you for your time. I appreciate you being here. Um, you guys, there go her 800 number right here. I'm going to show that again. So if you guys need to get in touch, ask some questions, get your things going, make sure that your money is in order. Let's get it. You guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please share this video. I am almost there, y'all. 4,000 watch hours and then I can get monetized. I'm at like 2,700. So we're going to keep doing this every week coming back with another topic next week i'm going to be bringing miss sunita leaks on out of south carolina and we are talking about that whole wedding officiant thing so if you are a business owner and you have been looking to try to figure out this whole wedding officiant and whatnot see i know i'm a new wedding officiant around these parts um so more money more money more money right opened up a whole new business trust me i gotta talk to you about it <laughs> well thank uh, you for having me 
I would love to come back anytime. Please invite me. Um, like my social media pages. Call me. Talk to me. I'm here for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you guys, I am out of here. Y'all be great on purpose. Do things with good intentions. And if you're scared, you already know what it is. Do it, damn it, scared. Thank you.